Hello, in the last meeting I showed you how to open a meeting and here we are in the meeting. So you'll remember from the last video that we opened the participants in chat using the bottom bar here. This is where participants and here's chat. That's how we open them. Um, so right now I'm going to have someone join this meeting. So this is someone else who wants to join our meeting or church service or book club or whatever. And you'll see them. There they are. One person is waiting. And we are going to admit them. There they are. And there's my dining room ceiling. Isn't it exciting? Anyways, so there's a participant there as an example. I wiggle my mouse around. There's more. So I can make them a host. And only hosts can do breakout rooms. I can make them a co-host, which will be able to do everything, including sharing slides. I could rename them. So in this case, there, their new name for this meeting is helper person. We are going to, we, we've shown rename. I can put them back in the waiting room for whatever reason. They're, they're back in the waiting room. So now I could admit or remove them. If I remove them, they can never, ever, ever get back into this meeting again. So this is only to be used for people that are quite disruptive. So I'm going to admit them back in to our, our meeting. And here they are. Did you hear a chime? If you want to hear a chime when people come and go, you select play, enter, exit, chime, and you will hear when people are coming and going, which is helpful at the very beginning when you're waiting for people to join and seeing who's coming or going and seeing if you recognize everyone that's coming in. During the service, you definitely want to have it off because we don't want to hear a chime all the time. Now, the same area that the more selection was is mute and unmute. Those are very important. People will unmute themselves in inappropriate times and you need to mute them again. Unmute. Mute. It's very simple. And at the beginning of the service, you would click Mute All, and that will mute everyone. And then the speakers that will want to be doing presentations, etc., will have to unmute themselves. Um, <clears throat> you can also use this More feature to remove someone, but again, if you remove someone from the meeting, they are permanently removed and can never come back in. Really, the only things that people have ever had to use so far is mute and unmute, and then sharing host and co-host. If you start off as the host, you may pass that on to somebody else, or make so you'll want to make other people co-hosts, the people that are running the Sunday service, or people that want to record the meeting, or people that want to share slides. Here is the chat group, and you'll be able to watch the chat, and if people put inappropriate things, you can remove them, or you can also send messages privately, saying whatever, <laughs> whatever you deem appropriate. So you can send that would see it says privately you would send a message to someone or to everyone in the meeting you can send a message that is the support that's greeting and ushering in essence like a normal sunday service that's how you can help out
Thank you. 